This is episode 565, and today we're going to be talking about do it today. Stop waiting. So often we just put off till tomorrow what we can do today, and that is just no formula for success. So there's never, there's never a better time than the present to start a task, to start a goal, to start something. Too often we wait for the, quote, perfect time to start. Well, time is consistently passing us by, and there's no time to wait. There's also never going to be the perfect time. There never will be. The, the perfect time is the time when you start taking action. That is the perfect time. Instead of waiting for the perfect time, get started today. Make the most of the present because that's all you have. It's a gift, the present. Take action is often better than waiting. And let me show you why. There's always, always a way. You can't control time, but you can control how you use it. So by waiting, you are letting time control you. By taking action now, you are controlling time. Actually, you are controlling yourself. When you wait, you don't control yourself because you're not doing anything. But by taking action, you are in control and if, of yourself. So rather than waiting, use your determination and ingenuity to find a way to make the present work for you. This is Now, this podcast is all based on the presumption that you have a goal, you have an objective, you have something that you want to get accomplished, and you haven't done it yet. If you don't have something, hire a coach, hire me, work with it. This is the best time of the year to start to develop your vision for next year. And that vision is something that you can work on every single day. So stop waiting on developing your vision and start doing it today. Because also take the opportunities you have and figure out how to bring them to fruition. That is your vision, your goals, presuming that you have them. You know, you can always, always find a way. If there's a will, there's a way. If you want to get something done, the only way you fail is you stop. You can keep trying. It might take longer than you originally anticipated, but if you keep trying persistence and grit and mental strength, you will do it. But that, but persistence, grit, mental strength, all of those take place in the now. They are not future-oriented mindsets. They are present-oriented mindsets. So progress is often slow, so you better get started today. Start it as soon as possible. You see, it can take a while to build up mo momentum, so it only makes sense to begin building it immediately. If you have a big task, you might have to work out the nicks and the crinks and the process and the systems, and as soon as you get it worked out, you'll start to tap into momentum. But you can't get all the nuances figured out. You won't be able to get into that momentum. So success can take time. But take time, it's all relative, right? It can take time to instant failure, or it can take place very quick, quickly. But normally, success is built upon previous successes. So today, we build on yesterday's. When we get to tomorrow, which will be today, we build on that. So this is why we don't want to wait, is we want to keep building on each success. You know, how much time do you have? You really don't know. I, I, you, you have probably heard many stories of somebody who's young, the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and suddenly pass away. We don't know when it's our time. We just don't know. So we better start taking action on the things that we want to accomplish right now. One thing's for certain, the sooner you get started, the sooner you'll taste success. Also, if you get started now, you will learn more. See, the sooner you start doing something, the sooner your education begins, right? In NLP, we say there's no failure, just feedback. And with a growth mindset, regardless of what the results you get, you will always have a learning. But if you don't take any action, you can't get feedback. If you don't get feedback, you can't have a learning. The more you learn, the more you know you can correct and continue. So without correcting and continue, you don't learn. So by taking action now, you will learn more. You learn nothing from waiting. Well, I want to read this book. I want to read that. Yeah, a little bit of education is okay, but if you read a book on learning how to swim, but you don't go in the pool, you're no good. You're, not, you're just not going to be able to swim. So waiting for you to swim to get in the pool is never going to happen. 
Just like waiting for something to be successful without you taking action is not going to happen. The more you know, the easier it's going to be to be successful and enjoy your life. Ignore the excuses. Your excuses, your family excuses, your friends' excuses. You can always invent an excuse to justify postponing action. Always. Oh, the weather's too hot. It's too cold. I'm too old. I'm too young. I'm too smart. I'm too stupid. I'm too this. I'm too that. You can find a myriad of excuses. I'm pretty sure that there's a book out there with a thousand and one excuses why you fail. If not, somebody should read, should write it because it would help people make excuses and move on and let those who want to succeed pass them by in the fast lane. But most people do this on a daily basis. Do you want the same results as the average person, right? So there's observe the masses and do the opposite. The average person sits, makes excuses, which is basically a limiting belief. An excuse is the tip of the iceberg of a limiting belief. And when we can dive deeper into that belief through coaching, you'll be able to remove that limiting belief and then the excuse evaporates. But most people will sit and make excuses about why they can't start a business, why they can't lose weight, why they can't gain weight, why they can't find the perfect job, why they can't. They'll make a thousand and one excuses. Observe the masses and do the opposite. Start taking action now and then start removing the excuses. You know, a year from now, you'll still have plenty of excuses. There's no expiration date on them, but you won't be any closer to your goals. So forget the excuses and take action. Just forget about it. Just put them all to the side and just take action. Number five, you'll be pleased with yourself. Imagine you're old and at the end of your life, right? Do you think you're going to regret the things you did or the things you didn't do? Most of the time when people are interviewed is they regret the things they didn't do. Not that they don't regret the things they tried and failed because they tried, but it's, oh, I wish I would have journey to Africa for a safari. I wish I would have asked that person out on a date. I wish I would have started a business. I wish I would have learned how to play the violin. I wish I would have whatever it might be. So they, a lot of people die with the music still in them, meaning that they have so much that they wanted to do, but they were afraid to. And the afraid that's supported by all these excuses. But so if you keep going after something, even if you don't succeed, quote, 100%, You'll be pleased with yourself for taking that action. And how you do anything is a reflection of how you do everything. You take action on the small things, you'll take action on the big things, and you'll be pleased, happy, and confident with yourself. So begin taking action today with these strategies, right? So create a plan that you can begin immediately. That means now, not the 1st of January, not the 31st of December, but today, now, write out that plan. Right, one thing, one thing you can do today to get you closer to your goal and do that one thing. Then consider any likely obstacles. Now, we want to be careful we don't come up with, you know, some extravagant ones like, well, my house gets hit by a meteor, I'm abducted by aliens, you know, all those are unlikely obstacles. So we want to think of some likely obstacles like the Stoics would do and then determine the solution when they present themselves. So also create a reward system. Every little step you get closer to your goal, you want to have a reward. Now, that doesn't mean you take a, a trip around the world. It just means you acknowledge it in some fashion. That could be getting a massage. That could be just taking a break. It could be acknowledging it. Whatever it is, you want to create a reward system because the unconscious mind loves, loves to be acknowledged and loves to celebrate. And it's actually your unconscious mind which drives your behaviors which gets your results. If you don't create a reward system, your unconscious mind is going to rebel against you going, hey, you're making me do all the work. I'm not having any fun. Let's stop this. So you got to create a reward system. Be persistent, right? Persistent is now. It's not future-based. You keep going. You keep going. You, you correct and continue. You adjust and continue. Persistence and grit. If that goal is that important to you, you will do whatever it takes to see it through. That means starting today and continuing tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. If you need some, you know, if you need help with creating a plan and coming up with obstacles or reward system, hire a coach, hire me, hire somebody. Because if you don't have it now, do you really think going out on your own again, you're going to get it? 
you need a support team with you. You need somebody to hold you accountable. You need somebody to challenge you in stepping outside your comfort zone. So these are four ways that you can start taking action today. You know, so just keep in mind that life can be lived only in the present. It's only now. In our memory, in our mind, we can go in the back, in the past, in the future, but we only experience it right now in the present. So waiting for some unspecified magical time in the future is a waste of your life, a waste of your time, and just a waste, waste, waste. You can get started right here, right now. As soon as you finish, listen, listen to this, write down your objective, start taking action on it immediately. There's nothing stopping you but you, and it's those lousy excuses. So there's no time like the present to begin living your life fully. Even if you don't get it accomplished in the time frame, you're making progress toward it, towards it, and you will feel so much better. So let me ask you, what are you waiting for? And what if you answer, well, I'm waiting for this, 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 those are excuses. The answer should be, I'm not waiting for anything. I'm taking action right now. That's what you want to do. Stop the podcast, start taking action. So if you'd like to get these show notes, you can bump on over to warriormindcoach.com, see the show, the show notes, print them out. While you're over there, you can listen to some other podcasts, read some other blogs. Then while you're online, you can also follow me on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest under Warrior Mind Coach. <laughs>